Okay, hey guys, it's Asha. Welcome back to Reading with Toby. Today, I have my Reading Rush TBR, and I'm also doing the tag. My glasses are really dirty. Hold on, let me clean them. <laughs> okay, that's better. All right, so I'm super excited to participate in this little readathon. I will definitely bleep. I'll definitely be vlogging, so look out for that. It starts the 16th and ends on the 19th i'm pretty sure i'll link all the information down below just in case you are curious it's hosted by the reading rush obviously um so yeah so i'll link all that stuff down below but they basically created a tag that you could do for the video and then we're going to talk about my tbr so let's start off with the tag questions Okay, so the first question is, how is your reading going while staying at home? So my reading has actually been really, really good, obviously, since staying at home. I have way more free time, um, just in general, to like break up my time however I want to spend, you know, like this part, making sure I study and like do stuff for school. And then I have the rest of the time to do reading, watch TV, whatever. So I've been reading a lot more this month. Second question is, where have you been reading at home so i read where i normally read at home on my bed of course i also um like rearrange my bookshelves which i'll link that vlog where i talk about that but i have this nice little nook area now on my couch with like the light hanging over that i like to read on now and then of course i love to read on my balcony when it's nice outside okay so the third book is the best book that you have read during isolation okay let me get that so the best book that i've read since this whole social distancing and isolation stuff has started was this one here this is girls burn brighter by showboat rao i have a whole vlog social distancing vlog where i read this i will link that also for you guys but i read that and i really enjoyed this this follows two girls in india they become best friends something tragic happens and they end up separating and you're following both of their perspectives it switches as they are trying to like fight the society that doesn't value girls um they're trying to like stay strong they still think about each other and they're trying to find their way back to each other it's a really hard read but it's really good um really impactful and the writing is amazing i really enjoyed it so i definitely recommend this one okay the next one is what is your favorite feel good book hmm of course i want to say harry potter but i'm trying to think of something else because harry potter definitely always makes me feel good and cozy inside of course but let me try to think of another one i don't know if i can really think of it i feel like that is going to be my answer just because my battery is flashing at me but yeah i mean like harry potter is just always the go-to rereading it always makes you feel cozy and good inside so <laughs> all right my battery died if lighting or anything changed okay so the next question is what is a book that you wish you could buy or borrow from the library okay so the first one that i keep looking at to purchase is the memory police which is a japanese translated fiction i've had my eye on this book for a while and i keep seeing it getting a little bit buzz like more and more and more people are talking about it it just sounds so good it's like a dystopian novel and i actually like I was in a bookstore and the cover like caught my eye and now I keep seeing people talk about it but it is a dystopian where um, it's like inspired by George Orwell's 1984 and I think the government is slowly like taking away people's memories and I don't know it just sounds so good and people keep saying it's good so that's one and then another one that I keep um, looking to purchase is called Inferno I believe by Catherine Cho and I want to read because i saw it this one on instagram and the cover caught my eye hold on let me find it i read this part the synopsis for this when Catherine left london for the u.s with her husband james to introduce her family to their newborn son she could not have envisioned how that trip would end Catherine would find herself in an involuntary psych ward in new jersey separated from her husband and child unable to understand who she was and how she got there doesn't that sound so good and it's a memoir it's non-fiction it's based on her real life sounds so good so i really want to read that one too so those are the two that i have my eye on that i really wish i could buy and i may buy them anyway <laughs> next one is an author you wish to shout out during this time okay so of course the author that i want to shout out is evan winter he is the author of the rage of dragons which was what so far one of my favorite books of the year i freaking loved it it's an epic fantasy if you haven't heard of it it is amazing if you're looking for a good book that's going to suck you in that is constant action 
great characters, great plot, dragons, magic, just amazingness. <laughs> Definitely recommend that one. And I want to shout out Evan Winter because he wrote that book. It is incredible and I loved it. <laughs> okay, so now finally it is what is your reading rush TBR? All right, so let's go through the challenges really quick. There are four challenges. You have read a book with a house on the cover, read a book in the same room the whole time, read a book set somewhere you wish you could go, and then read a book that will make you smile. So I'm not going to do four books. I decided on two. I think I can get two done in four days. That's my plan. But let's go ahead and get through them. So the first one with a book with a house on the cover, and I'm going to combine a book with a place that you wish you could go. And for that, I'm choosing Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I have been wanting to read this book, especially with the TV show released and my mom was telling me that the show was really good and I was like I want to watch it but I have to read the book first so I need to go ahead and read it um, I'm sure most of you guys know what this is about I'm actually not even quite sure what it's about I think like house catches on fire and it's like suburb suburban drama I'm not really sure but yeah so this one we got a house on the cover and then a place that I wish I could go because I actually funny story here so I used to live this place takes place in Shaker Heights Ohio which I actually used to live in Shaker Heights, Ohio when I was in graduate school a couple years ago or like three or four years ago. And yeah, so I wish I could go there. One, because I was actually supposed to be going back to Cleveland for a huge like medical, um, not medical school, but like a organization that I'm a part of. They were having a huge conference in Cleveland and I was so excited to go back to Cleveland and visit one of my really good friends who is there, who still lives there and um yeah i was just super excited so yeah i wish i could go back to ohio because i was planning to do it anyway so yeah i'm really excited to read this one and i think it's like short contemporary usually read pretty fast we have that one the second one i guess i will read this next one in the same place the entire time and a book that will make me smile in like a way where it's going to be dark and i'm hoping clever and those tend to make me smile because i'm weird like that <laughs> but that one is darling rose gold by stephanie robles this is actually a new release it came out in march and it was one of my most anticipated releases i completely forgot i pre-ordered it so it was a nice surprise in the mail <laughs> but this like i said is a thriller and you're following a girl who is seemingly reaching back out to her mom because her mom um like used to poison her and make her sick so if you know that show oh my gosh i can never remember the name of that show oh i'll put it here but i watched the show and i have seen the documentary on this which you should watch it's crazy but it kind of gives me vibes like that but the daughter tells the mom to come and like you know wants to reconnect with her but i think she's going to get a little bit revenge back so i'm super excited about this thriller hopefully it's good i really like the cover this is also called i've noticed called something different in the uk which i'll put here too it's like a very subtle difference but yeah just in case you're across the pond and you're wondering about that but yeah so i think this is gonna make me smile if it's like really good and dark <laughs> but yeah these are my two books for the reading rush tbr i am excited about it so that is it guys let me know if you are participating in the reading rush and if you're vlogging and all that good stuff um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye